Hello and welcome to our new episode of What the Future Insights. So today our topic is robotic process automation. Wow, what's the topic is like robotic automation? Two things. Wow, it's is it like uh, robots with Terminator? Hasta la vista, baby. Something like that. Mm, no, it's about software bots. Software bots are mainly uh, software which try to reduce your work into more automated manner. An automated manner means that you your work is being taken out by a bot which can do a lot of things. For example, in a normal work activity in a bank, you have to fill in a lot of forms. For example, KYC, know your customer form. This forms would be done by bots in future. Also, in another industry, for example, in insurance, you have to do a lot of policies and also the regulatory authority things which are related to AML, anti-money laundering, also terrorism financing. This would be all be taken out by this robotic process automation. If you see the implications of this RPA in HR is very broad. Consider that that you have one third of your employees which could be taken out by the bots. Not taken out, that doesn't mean that you are taking out the employees, but the time which they are utilizing on the administrative stuff can be reduced so the administrative part which they are doing daily activities can be taken out by software bots just take an example how it would reduce that the current workload of your current employees if it's reduced by 30 percent it could be utilized to upskill and reskill themselves also to manage this workforce in a manner for futuristic challenges or future of the work Another aspect could be that we can see in future a new work terminologies are developing, co-working, etc. So this RPA would help you to understand different things in different manner. So if we talk about the shortcomings, because for every technology, either it's AI, machine learning, etc., there is a shortcoming. So in RPA, it's very necessary to understand your processes. If you do not understand your processes and you don't have a subtle processes, there would be a really significant importance of the processes. If the processes are wrong or it's not aligned, in which case the RPA would usually fail. Another shortfall is about the RPA tool, which is being implemented in a flexible software. So softwares which does not have a subtle uh, versions would have issues in uh, adjusting RPAs. Most of the RPAs are generally based on the fixed rules and regulations. So if you get an email, this email would be directly linked towards your value chain. So your value chain would be linked towards your ERP system. And then it goes to the ERP and then it would give you the either it's order canceling or a new order. It would get into that. But it's a fixed set of rules. But if there is a change in the software versions, then RPA may fail. So this is one of the shortcomings of RPA. So one of the interesting fact about the shortcomings is every industry now is going towards the restructuring phase. Especially in Germany, you see the automotive sector. In this restructuring phase, they are trying to develop and also to optimize their current processes. You can see the wording from end-to-end -end processes and also process reengineering process revamp. This would help to deploy RPA tool in most optimized manner. RPA would be able to give you more is more productivity in a sense that when the processes are more optimized, it would be more realistically applicable to the processes. Otherwise, there is always a shortcoming. So today I just wanted to share some interesting things about RPA and uh, this is it from my side and we would be sharing some interesting topics in future as well. Thank you and please subscribe our channel and give it a like.